Hey guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Harvey from Invensys Learning. Today in this video, we are going to discuss PMP certification process. Project management professional is an internationally recognized professional designation offered by the Project Management Institute. As of July 31st, 2020, there are 1,036,367 active PMP certified individuals and 314 chartered chapters across 214 countries and territories worldwide. In this video, we will understand the certification process from application submission to exam preparation and from obtaining certification to its renewal. So without any delay, let's get started. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe and click on the bell icon for regular updates. So let us start with the agenda. PMP certification process is divided into four phases. We will start with our first phase, application and then we will discuss further about exam preparation. Post that we will discuss the crucial information on attending the exam finally we will discuss about the certification maintenance sounds interesting right so without any delay let's get started worrying about your career working too hard for recognition and waiting for success don't worry here is a way to overcome all those with PMP certification so let us start with the way to success and the details about certification in this process we have four important phases in certification process application preparation attending exam maintenance so let us start with the first phase that is application process for application we have four phases involved those are application submission application completeness audit process payment process so let us start with the application submission your journey to become a certified project management professional begins with the application submission but confused with how to apply what are the requirements what is the process where to apply don't worry we got it covered to apply for the PMP certification exam you must meet the educational and professional experience requirements as PMP certification is the PMI's advanced level project management certification credential the standards of this certification are upheld by a rigorous evaluation procedure and eligibility requirements So to start with application, you need to fulfill specific education and experience requirements to meet the PMI standards. So let us discuss about the eligibility criteria. To apply for the PMP certification exam, you must meet the educational and professional experience requirements. Professional expertise will come from your time managing projects where you have been involved in all elements of the project management life cycle. Let's have a look at the various professional and educational prerequisites for the PMP certification. educational qualification for getting certified or to attend the certification educational qualifications plays an important role either you need to have a primary degree or a high school diploma or a global equivalent professional experience after having a degree it is also important to have a project management experience the pmp certification allows the following scenarios for professional experience to appear for the exam if you have a 4 year degree you must have an experience of 36 months in leading and directing projects if you have an associate degree or a high school diploma you must have an experience of 60 months in leading and directing projects the most significant aspect to consider as part of pmp qualification is project management experience to meet the pmp certification criteria you must have completed a certain amount of hours this experience would be held by project managers who have led and directed projects for 3 to 5 years A minimum of 3 years must be spent leading and directing projects and a minimum of 5 years must be spent leading and directing projects. Then the next criteria is about the knowledge on project management. So project management education is included in the eligibility and it requires a minimum of 35 hours of project management training. So to get the 35 PDUs required for certification, do enroll into the course with Invensys Learning for project management education. The criteria is to maintain a standard among PMP certified professionals for upholding integrity to learn more about eligibility criteria and other details refer to our youtube channel till now we have seen the details of eligibility and application submission now we will start our next phase application completeness this is the next important phase where each individual need to get it ready so let us have a look at the documents that are required for drafting the application the major important documents are projects you've led where you've worked your role and responsibilities duration of projects 
Training you've completed. Institutions attended. Courses completed. Qualifying hours. The above information is mandatory for every individual aspirant with regular degree and secondary degree. This information is crucial for allowing you to be a part of PMP certification. Once the application is created completely, each individual need to send the proofs to PMI. So we will see the required proofs for clean audit process. This PMP audit process is used to verify the data submitted by you to sit into PMP certification. So for this audit purpose, we must send the below proofs that are gathered at time of application completeness phase. Those are proof of education. Each candidate need to provide a photocopy of their degree certificate. This certificate should be the highest level of education that a candidate possessed a PMI. Proof of 35 hours of project management education. To sit for the PMP, all applicants must complete 35 hours of professional project management instruction. A photocopy of this certificate or equivalent course evidence is required, much as proof of degree. Details of project management experience. This step may require a little more effort than the previous two, but it is still simple. Applicants are granted access to the My PMI section of the PMI website after registering for the PMP exam. Applicants can find the audit package sorted by PMI in this section. Print the PDF papers and send them to your superiors. Supervisors will review and sign off on each form before returning it to the applicant with an additional signature over the envelope seal. State clearly to supervisors that the envelope should not be sent directly to PMI. To ensure that the audit is executed effectively, the applicant should send all envelopes to PMI at the same time. After completing the three components, mail the entire audit package to the address supplied by PMI for audit. It is important to note that it usually takes PMI 5 to 7 days to receive the package, examine it, and process the audit. Then after the audit PMI will notify you to pay the fee and this step is known as application payment process. When PMI notifies you that your application has been approved, it is time to pay, so that you can proceed to the last stage. The PMI online certification method is the quickest and easiest way to pay. Once your payment has been received, PMI will email you with an eligibility number, which you will use it to schedule your exam appointment. You are eligible for the exam for one year, and you can take it up to three times during that time. Now, we will try to understand about the exam preparation. The Project Management Professional, PMP, is the world's leading project management certification offered by the Project Management Institute, PMI, a non-profit organization whose goal is to advance the profession of project management. With an added focus on predictive, agile, and hybrid approaches, PMP demonstrates project leadership experience and expertise in handling projects. For a project manager, having PMP certification guarantees professional credibility, deep knowledge, career growth, and increased earning potential. It also guarantees extensive preparation where a candidate masters the practical application of project management processes. Certified PMP project managers are found working around the world and in every industry. Invensys Learning has been reviewed and approved by the PMI Authorized Training Partner Program to provide a four-day instructor-led PMP certification training that will ensure the essential 35 PDUs at the end of the training. This PMP certification training is based on PMBOK Guide, 6th edition, and offers mock tests and lifetime access to the LMS. Skilled project managers are in huge demand and Invensys Learning's PMP Exam Prep Boot Camp is an accelerated, guaranteed path to achieving your PMP certification the very first time. Invensys Learning provides a live online corporate training program, customized for enterprise teams who wish to train their employees on specific aspects, of their job processes or responsibilities. For more details, contact us at Invensus Learning. Thus, you will be ready for exam. And now, we will discuss about attending exam. Attending the certification is one of the most important tasks to certify as a project management professional. To obtain your PMP certification, you must complete the experience and education criteria and also pass the PMP test. Regardless of how advanced your project management experience or degree you should study hard for the exam. Successful PMP candidates often use a variety of study methods such as classes, self-study, and study groups. And we will now discuss about the exam pattern. PMP certification exam has 180 questions based on PMBOK. The duration of this exam is 4 hours. Attending the exam and scoring in it is important in PMP certification and at the same time maintaining that certification is also equally important. There are four major phases in certification maintenance. They are 
certification cycle, credential management, credential renewal, and credential suspension. So, let us start with the first phase, certification cycle, after passing the examination, the certification cycle starts and each certification cycle lasts for three years, and this cycle starts from the day you pass the exam. To maintain this certification, it requires 65 PDUs. Once after the PDUs are submitted with renewal fee then the next cycle begins. Now, we will discuss about the credential management. Here obtaining the certification is a big step, and maintaining it shouldn't have to be, with the continuing certification requirements program, and this program is designed to grow and develop the skills that organizations are seeking. So to manage the credentials in PMP certification, we must follow the PMI talent triangle, which include technical project management, knowledge, skills and behaviors related to specific domains of project, program, and portfolio management, leadership, knowledge, skills and behaviors specific to leadership-oriented, cross-cutting activities that help an organization achieve its business goals, strategic and business management, knowledge and expertise in the industry or organization that enhances performance and better delivers business outcomes. The above factors are used for the management of credential. Till now, we have seen credential management. Let us now begin with credential renewal phase. Once the CCR is about to expire, then each certification holder needs to obtain the PDUs and send it to CCR. Confused with obtaining PDUs? Check this out in our blog section and link given in the description, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for video. Then the credential renewal process needs to be started, and you need to pay a renewal fee for it. Then the credential will be renewed by PMI, then the certification cycle will begin. If you fail to obtain PDUs, then certification will be placed in suspension, so let us explore the information on credential suspension. If you do not satisfy the CCR program requirements within your current cycle dates, don't worry. You will be placed in suspended status. The suspension period lasts one year. Submit your PDUs within this 12-month period to continue the certification. If you are in suspended status, you may not refer to yourself as a certification holder or use the certification designation until you earn the necessary PDUs or complete the renewal process within the one-year suspension period. Once the certification is suspended then you need to follow the process of certification management again. And if you wish to hold the credential again you need to reapply. Even then, if an individual failed to obtain PDUs and start renewal process, then the credential is expired. So let us discuss the expiration phase. If you fail to reapply for credential renewal after suspension, then the credential will expire. Once expired then there is no option to renew. You need to start the application process again to get certified. These are the steps for the PMP certification process. We at Invensys Learning offer various courses on project management. If you are interested in PMP certification, reach out to our website Invensys Learning. Come for more information. If there are any issues, do let us know your comments in the comment section.